it is a general reading, this may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Wow, nice, beautiful. Okay, looks like there's definitely been a separation and breakup between you guys. Well, of course, right? That's why you're watching the reading. Um. What I feel is that we have the Four of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Queen of Swords here. Now, I'm feeling here, first of all, this person is either there is some kind of celebration that's going on, okay, in their energy out here, or when they, it comes to you, what they're thinking of is long term, okay? They want marriage with you, they want long term with you. And they're definitely in the next 24 hours, they're thinking about communicating with you. And with the Queen of Swords here, I think they're going to be very clear about what they want, okay? The communication is going to be very, very clear from their side. But, the thing out here is that um, they could also see you as someone who's closed off, uh, you know, uh, in communication. They could see you as someone who's being very closed off and someone, you know, who's not really entertaining any um, communication from them. But they do see you as someone who's, you know, you've got that little negative energy towards them. Okay, but they're definitely thinking of communicating with you. Okay, and uh, this person, they see you as something they want long term with. What does this person feel for Doris? What does this person feel for Doris? So it is on their mind, okay, to communicate with you. What does this person feel for Doris? But I feel this person sees that you're not even looking at them. You're looking the other way. And you probably have cut them off. What does this person feel for Doris in the next 24 hours? What will this person feel for Doris in the next 24 hours? Yep. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> It's only communication, communication, communication. Okay, that's all they want. So this is someone here who's you have radio silence with, okay? Because there's so much of communication coming from their side. This is what they feel. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Looks like they want a brand new start with you, okay? Commitment could be a big issue between you guys, okay? And this person is someone here who's coming off as, you know, someone very immature in communication, okay? Constantly like a procrastinator, okay? Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? This person here likes to keep things very, uh, all fun and games, okay? And you, on the other hand, you are coming off as someone here who's so serious, okay? Because you're coming off as the queen of swords, someone who's gone through a lot of, um, issues in relationships or you've gone through bad relationships, okay? Because of which you're at this point of where either you're in something for the long term or you're just not interested in fooling around. You're not interested in hookups, okay? And uh, you're not interested in having any flings. This person out here, no. They're not wanting, they're not interested in flings, but it's just that they're too immature, okay, when it comes to wanting to have anything committed with you. They want to keep things light, okay? They have passion with you. They want to travel. They want adventure, okay? They want to live the moment with you. But you on the other hand here, oh no, there is no living in the moment. There is now or never. All right. This person out here, they're, they're, they're in their feelings. They want to commit to you. Okay. Deep within, they want to commit to you. But see, they're coming up as the page and the night here, which is telling me that someone who's just not ready to do it. Okay. This person is in a hurry to take things forward with you. Again, I'm getting a lot of traveling here. They would just want to run away with you or they just want to travel with you. Okay. Or they just want to take things so fast okay because see from the ace here we're going to the eight here so it's like they just want this brand new beginning they're just waiting for a chance to start something with you okay the commitment is there but it's more like the passion is what's overpowering this person's energy out here okay but uh right now i feel like this person could be someone here who could be very very overloaded with other responsibilities or someone you know who's just taken up too much of work okay Let's see. Will they take action? What action will this person take towards stores in the next 24 hours, please? What action? What action will this person take towards stores in the next 24 hours? What action will this person take towards stores in the next 24 hours? Spirit? What action will this person take towards stores in the next 24 hours? Wow. Okay. Two more cards. Mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> this is beautiful this person really 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 wants to get married to you they really want to get married to you we have the hierophant we have the empress here we have the chariot here and the food here hmm. now 
one thing that I'm seeing here is that this person definitely, definitely, definitely wants to take a leap of faith with you. Okay, this person silently manifesting you. Now, what's happening here is one thing I see here with this person is that this person is definitely come out, coming off as someone who's a control freak. Okay, this person definitely wants a future with you. They see you as marriage material. All right, there is some kind of tradition, some kind of management, some kind of authority, some kind of religion or tradition or say a home family tradition or their parents or their family or there's a religion difference between you guys which is stopping this person from coming towards you because see they want to take a risk with you okay i mean they want to move forward towards you but see the fold here it's not it's not like the same way so it's like they are very tone okay because they feel a very spiritually connected, uh, a very strong spiritual connection with you. But the problem here is that they still don't know if they can take the risk. This is someone here who needs to know whether things will work out. They want to know like a short, short yes or no, if it's going to work out. This person could be someone who has trust issues, A. Okay, heavy trust issues. Secondly, I feel someone here who's still not ready to fight the management, ready, not ready to fight the... Uh, the bully okay now the bully to me is like the hierophant here okay someone who has to fight the tradition someone who has to get their shit together and be like you know what i want this i want him i want her i don't care what the society society says i don't care what the tradition says i don't care what people's opinions say okay that's the only thing which is stopping this person from coming towards you but they are so willing and so determined to come towards you third i'm seeing is distance could be an issue between you guys i mean there is a lot going on right now in the world here distance could be a bit okay definitely and um and yeah, like I said, this person has trust issues out here. But if you're asking me how genuine is this person towards you, dude, they're pretty serious about you. Okay, they are. It's just that with the Queen of Swords, I see them as seeing you as someone, you know, it's like, is she even willing to talk? Is he even willing to talk to me? Because you could have cut them off, okay? You could have completely, you know, been in a state of shutdown, not talking to them. Let's see, let me do a little bit of clarification. What's the Queen of Swords? Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, they see you as, uh, this person out here, uh, could see you as someone who's dropped them and very, very focused on your money, your career, your goals, okay? They see you as someone here who's very focused on their own thing. You're, you're just doing very well in your financial part or very well in the career that you're obtaining right now, okay? And I think they see you as doing very well, but uh, they see you as someone who's put the past in the past. You've let, you've let them go and they see you as someone who's just moving forward. Okay. Whilst they are here wanting to pursue this with you, but definitely you could have been in two minds on this well, but they see you as someone, you know, who's finally made up their mind and you're choosing your career or choosing to move on rather than choosing to make a relationship work with them anymore. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, eight of wands. What's the eight of wands? I mean, that is communication and traveling, but we're still going to say, what's the eight of wands here? What's the eight of wands? Yeah. So this person out here right now, right? The problem here is this person has completely isolated themselves. What's happening here is that right now, they're trying to ignore you on a subconscious level. Okay. They're trying to evolve, involve themselves as much as they can into their day to day activities or trying to start something new, trying to do something that they're passionate about or whatever it is. Okay. But they're doing everything under the sun to ignore the situation and they're just waiting for the universe that something the universe does and automatically things will turn in their favor, but they don't want to take action towards you. Okay. Because in their thoughts and their feelings, they're wanting this action, but in their real action, when they, re when it's really time to show how much they want this connection, nada. Okay. That's when it all fizzles out here. Okay. That's why they're being very slow moving. I feel right now they're very busy in their work, their goals, their career, their day to day routine. And that's what they're keeping themselves involved in. Okay. And they're just waiting for the right time. But if the right time comes in, I mean, they would like jump in. I think they're just waiting for a little bit of conversation that can strike between you guys. Okay. But the problem here is that the biggest problem I see here that is that they see you as someone who's cut them off. Okay. So that vibe that you're giving out every day that you think about them, even if you're hurt by them, they cheated, lied or whatever. They didn't give you what you wanted. The kind of nasty thoughts that you have in your mind, which is like very negative, you know, that's what's pushing them away or that's just what's keeping that procrastination on. Okay. Just for, just wanted to say that. But passion, it's a lot. They have a lot of passion for you. Okay. 
but they're just like not sure about whether to pursue this okay because this person's just trying to completely uh ignore this entire situation and try to you know like just be happy where they are see four of wands here they're just trying to be happy where they are be content in a situation here but i feel they want all this with you but they're just not sure if you're going to entertain them or if you're just going to even if you're going to reciprocate their message or not actions the fool why is the fool here i think they want to take a leap of faith but they're not sure say say See, but they have they have trust issues too. They do. They do have trust issues. This person out here is not wanting to rock the boat. Okay, they're not willing to make a decision and take responsibility for it. It's like, should I approach Taurus? Okay, if Taurus blocks me out, that's fine. I still tried. Or what if Taurus just starts talking to me? Good for me. Okay, no, they're trying not to get emotionally involved. They're trying to stay detached right now. Okay, they're trying to balance out. You know, and they're trying not to say um. They're trying to um, say they stay very objective right now, okay, and that's why they don't want to take a risk out here. Yeah, they're trying to stay very objective. They're trying to stay out of trouble here because they know that approaching you, Taurus, that's going to be some trouble that they got to take care of. Okay, and right now they probably just want to keep it light. Okay, what's the page of wands? One second. What's the page of wands here? What's the page of wands? Uh huh. So this person has a lot of love for you, okay? But they have trust issues. Clearly, this person has a lot of trust issues with you. Uh, this person tends to hide their feelings a lot. Okay, they don't express their feelings a lot. And um, this is definitely someone here, you know, who, like I said, loves you to the moon and back, but you'll never know. They will eventually express their feelings here. The problem here is that this person has a lot of love for you, but their approach towards you is very immature. Okay, so they come off as someone who's non-committal, someone who's like, you know, oh, like, let's just have fun, go with the flow, live in the moment. But deep down, the love is there, but they don't want to express it, okay, because they don't want to be vulnerable, okay? All right, um, tell me about the, um, the Hierophant here. What's the Hierophant? This is strong tradition or family. Someone's coming between you guys. What's the Hierophant here? Something's too out of the box for this person to pursue. What's the Hierophant here? Maybe they're trying to work on changing their belief systems about this. Maybe they don't say, yeah, this person out here is not ready to face the management. Okay. Right now they're still in that procrastination. They want to give you this love offer. Okay. They want to give you something that you wanted all this while here, but they're waiting for the right time. Okay. This person's trying to get their shit together, trying to, um, you know, break tradition or trying to fight. Okay. Something which is, um, say forbidden. Okay. Just for a few of you. But uh, it could be that some of you are married, maybe they're married, you're married, and you both want to get together, which is not really, um, you know. Or then you're married and they're not married and you need to get out of a connection. Maybe someone's married here. Okay. Could be. But uh, the mother, a mother could also be an issue here. But I feel here that this person is still waiting, okay, for the right opportunity. It's like this person... Probably I'm also getting here that this person's taking too long to come towards you. Okay. They know things can work out. It's not that difficult here, but they're in a very low vibrational place. Okay. Because of which they're just in that waiting energy, waiting, 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 waiting. But I hope it's not a little too late. What's the Hierophant? Give me one more card here for the Hierophant. Ah, see? Yeah, they're shut down. They're shut down. This person could have real trust issues. I mean, they don't know if you're going to follow through. They, they, they just don't know if they fight the entire world for you. Okay. And they come towards you. Will you still be with them? Okay. If they take the sleep of faith and come towards you, will you still be with them? You know, will you be there to back them up? Or are you just going to like, I mean, this is all stemming from the past. Okay. I don't think this has anything to do with you. You just. Uh, got into this connection with them probably without knowing their past but you don't know how badly their past has affected them okay that's what i'm getting so who's the empress here who's the empress here they just saw yeah see this person's just trying to watch okay they're just watching you from a distance they know you're in your power okay they see you as abundant they want this future with you they want long term with you but the problem here is when are they going to make that big bold move okay so the next 24 hours, they're just going to want you. They're going to want you and they love you, but no action. Okay. Because they're still in that blocking mode here. This person needs to unblock. Okay. Unblock. I don't feel this is someone who's genuinely blocked you, blocked you on social media. 
could be for a few few but this looks more like energetically mentally they've blocked you okay like you know what i want to avoid this situation for right now and pursue something say probably a hobby or pursue something where things are more lighthearted right now rather than pursue something like this which is uh giving them a lot of tension which is them which is giving them like this tug of war conflict in their head okay so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and see you